everyone, welcome back to Better With Ginger. Today we're going to be making one of the most beautiful things I think I've ever made on Better With Ginger. Marbled clay jewelry dishes. They're beautiful, fairly simple. I was doing a little Pinterest research and found some inspiration for these and thought we have to make them immediately. So let's get started. And here's what you're going to need. Some white clay. I'm using Sculpey Oven Baked Clay. Uh, two accent colors. Today I'm going to be doing blue and yellow, a gray and a black, and then some gold paint. This is the Martha Stewart Craft Gold Paint, and that's just to rim the edge of the bowl. And optionally, you can use Sculpey Gloss at the end, and that gives it that like nice fine finish. Then you'll also need two bowls, one with about a five inch diameter, and then one slightly larger that is oven oven safe, oven bake safe, oven safe that you can put your bowl inside, and you want it to be bigger so that way it'll sag a little bit. Something to roll out your clay with. I'm just using a mug and then a ruler. So let's get started. So what you're first gonna do is take the colors, just basically everything but white, and make them into, it's like you're making a candy cane, and you twist each end in opposite directions. And you loop it together like that. You're gonna take the colored twisty guy and then add one of the whites and just wrap it around. Then we're gonna take the second white and wrap that guy around. And now you're just going to, and if it breaks, that's totally fine, twist it up like a candy cane. And then for the fun part, you're gonna roll it. And you're gonna roll it to be about twice the size that those strips originally were, so about 12 inches. You're going to take it, you're going to do the same thing. Loop it together, twist it, go in opposite directions, and then roll it out. And now you're going to take the rolled out log and you're going to smush it into a ball. And essentially, when you smush it into a ball, you should be able to see every color on the outside. If you can't, just pull apart, pull apart the ball and re-smush it together. You're going to set that down. And you're gonna roll it out. I'm rolling it out with a mug. And you're gonna roll it in different directions. So I'm gonna take my bowl that apparently used to be owned by Jaime. <laughs> I'm gonna trace it with an X-Acto knife or a box cutter, or if you don't have either of those, just a plain old knife will do. Take your bowl, it's a little bigger in uh, diameter. And then you're just gonna set it inside. Can you see inside this bowl? like so. And now I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 275 degrees for 15 minutes, but just follow your clay's directions. I took my bowl out of the oven. I let it cool inside the oven bake bowl, and then I popped it out just by flipping it over. And now I'm going to paint the rim with the gold paint. A box of wheat thins later, and my bowl is dry. And I think it's just about the cutest dish ever for a little piece of jewelry. Give it as a bridesmaid gift or a gift to myself. Thanks for watching. Thick rolls of white and they need to be about six inches long, which is why I have the ruler because I'm terrible at eyeballing six inches, but if you can do it in your head, totally cool. I've just never seen anything so small. 